In today's video, I'll show you how to make some vintage style Easter egg buckets. So first, I'm going to remove this paper egg from its wrapping. Rather than making a paper egg from scratch, I decided to go with a store-bought paper egg. Though, once I started trying to cut into it with the scissors, I noticed that it was actually plastic with a thin paper coating. This made cutting the egg a little more difficult, so I switched to carefully using a steak knife to remove the top portion of the egg. I then used the scissors to create a jagged, broken-looking edge around the egg. This went a little more smoothly. I'm going to be working on two egg bucket decorations today. Again, because of the plastic, I ended up having to drill holes through the egg for where the wire handles will go. If you end up using an actual paper egg, this most likely wouldn't be necessary. Also, just wanted to mention, don't worry, this cardboard is resting on top of a tall piece of foam packaging, so our table is safe. Using a smoky blue chalk paint, I'm going to paint the egg bucket interior, edge, and exterior. This paint covers pretty well, so I only needed to apply one coat. After it's completed, I'm going to set it aside to dry and start painting the other egg bucket a soft pastel color. Once both of them are dry, I'm going to set out a paper bag for the next step. Using a brown colored Distress Spray, Next, I'm going to hold each egg in the bag and spray the surface to give them a speckled finish. The amount of spray you use is completely a preference, so simply dust the surface until you achieve the look you want. Remember to hold the sprayer a distance from the egg. I suggest practicing on a plain piece of paper until you achieve the technique you like. Next, I'm going to apply a wide band of pink chalk paint around the egg. Along with two soft green narrow bands. Take your time with this and remember, imperfections give the finished decorations a rustic look. Around the blue egg, I'm going to apply a soft yellow band of chalk paint, followed by some dashed lines above and below the line. I found this neat decorative leaf ribbon to apply to the yellow egg. I'm just simply applying dots of hot glue and carefully applying the ribbon to the center of the pink stripe. And this is the wire I'm using to create the handles. Using a wire cutters, I'm going to clip two pieces and bend them to give them a basic handle shape. Placing each wire end through the holes in the egg buckets, I'm simply going to bend the ends upward and adjust the shape of the handle. And after I get these on the hooks and decorated, I'll show you the finished look.
welcome to my channel. I'm Christopher Heidemann, and I love to decorate. Over the years, I've had a blast sharing a variety of craft and decorating videos. From cozy fall, and spooky Halloween, to warm and inviting Christmas. and other fun videos, including seasonal home tours, garden tours, simple desserts and treats, floral arrangements, and other projects to make your holidays and home even more spectacular.